Hey YouTube, what's up? Hey, uh, all those pitbull haters say that uh, pitbull owners are all these meth crack whores, I don't know, gangsters, whatever. Well, how about this? Uh, Missouri ex-representative dog attacks second victim. A dog belonging to former state representative Mark Wright has attacked another passerby two months after it bit an eighth grader and Wright said he would euthanize the animal. Now, he is an ex-state representative, so I don't really think that he qualifies as a gangbanger or meth user or whatever. But uh, here we go. This time, the more than 70-pound black Labrador named Charlie bit a 22-year-old Baptist Bible college student. <laughs> the rights were issued a vicious dog citation by the Springfield Green County Health Department, and the dog is being held in the animal shelter. What happens next is largely up to the municipal court, which could rule a variety of different scenarios, but ordering the dog to be destroyed to placing restrictions on how it's used. Uh, Charlie will be kept at the animal shelter until April 25th, the end of the mandatory 10-day hold after an incident such as this occurs. Uh, but the health department has filed a motion with the municipal court to keep uh, him there until the incident could go to court. Quote, we, what we don't want to have happen is a dog that has demonstrated a pattern, especially one that has involved biting, being released again, end quote. The attack happened about 4 p.m. last Wednesday when Kimberly Adams was walking in front of the Wright's home in the 2000 block, the incident report shows. It says, Charlie ran from the address, bit Adams on her left elbow, and went back into the yard. The incident report describes the wound as a two-inch gash. Adams could not be reached Tuesday for comment. Goddard said Adams was treated at the hospital and he believes the injuries required stitches. Charlie's first victim, a Reed middle school student he attacked in February, also was taken to a hospital for treatment. He needed stitches. Uh, the rights were cited f then allowing for allowing a vicious dog to be at large and for not having the dog tagged and for not having proof of current rabies vaccinations. Uh, it was after February incident that Wright said publicly he planned to have Charlie euthanized, which he obviously didn't because this happened in April. So, moral of the story is even even a state representative can have a vicious dog, and it ain't a pit bull. <laughs>